So here I have, I'm going to show you how to make this magneto hydrodynamic drive with just some simple parts. Okay, so let's talk about how this drive works. So what you do is you start off with a battery. Uh, let's just say here's my battery. And that's the plus side and that's the minus side. And then I have some water. And then I'm going to have the minus sign hooked to one plate. And then I'll have the plus side hooked to a plate. So this is minus and that's plus. If you do this, and you need to put a little bit of salt in the water so that it's electric conducting, pure water is not, uh, oh, that's plus. So you'll get negative ions right over here moving towards the positive plate and positive ions moving towards the negative plate. So you have moving electrical charges. Now what you need to do is get a magnet, north, south, and that makes a magnetic field Let's put it as red because I'm running out of space here. B. Okay, so now let's take this positive charge. I have Q moving this way. And then I have B going this way. And I forgot my thing. This is my right hand rule to find the magnetic force. So here is B, there is QV, the magnetic force is going to be QV cross B. So that means that the force is going to be perpendicular to V, QV, and perpendicular to B. So there's only two vectors that do that. There's one that comes this way out of the screen and one that goes into the screen. So we can use our right hand rule, this is my right hand, see, and put QV in the direction of your finger, B in the direction of your middle finger, and the thumb points in the direction. So it's like this. See, so I made this little thing so we can see that. So here, here I have QV. This is B, so I'm going to put that this way, and I get that. So the force on this will be pushed into the paper. So over here, that positive charge will be pushed that way. Now let's take that negative ion. That has a uh, direction of velocities going this way, but QV is that way. So it's still, it also has a force being pushed into the same direction. So these two plates generate this electric current in the water, and the magnet pushes it that way. So this whole, if this is a motor, it pushed the water that way. The change momentum of the water means that there's a force on it too. So that's, that's how it works. Let's check it out. Okay, so there's nothing really special you need to build this drive. I made this out of a short little PVC pipe. And then you'll see right here that I put two pieces of aluminum foil. And they have to be able to touch the water to make the electric current in the water. Uh, so I wrap these two pieces of aluminum foil around the pipe, and those are going to act as my two plates. Uh, now, you want to be careful. Don't use magnetic, ferromagnetic uh, things to hook this up. So I have these two copper wires wrapped around those that go to my, uh, my wires over here, which are magnetic because you don't want them to get stuck on the magnet. So this uh, is going to make an electric current going across here. Then I can have my magnetic field this way, and that's going to push the charges down that way. Now, the only piece that you may have difficult finding is a strong magnet. Uh, weak magnets will work weakly. I don't know if that's obvious or not, but uh, I have this big old thing. And you can get these pretty cheap, but this is like $11 or something. Actually, I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to, oops, spill the water. I'm going to put another magnet inside of there. And this just holds it together. Okay, so now I can put this in the water. Oh, I need one other thing. Salt. It doesn't have to be mixed up really well. It doesn't need to be a ton of salt. So now I put this in there. I'm going to move my wires around. Okay, there. Now I have a 9 volt battery, and this is going to be plenty enough to do it. So let's plug this sucker in, and let's see if we can see something happen. So you may be able to notice the bubbles, and that's from the, uh, the uh, that shows that there is an electric current in the water. I'm trying to watch the direction of the current, and let's put a drop of a blue dye in there, and you can see it move through the machine.
There it goes. See, it sucked it through and it pushed it out. It's not super great, but it does indeed work. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Magnetohydrodynamic drive. 